All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free to play mystery shard only run video. Today, we are going to be getting Mr. Metal Shaper up and in shape. Yes, we're going to be getting him to six star. So let's see what we've got. We've got a bunch of heroes that we can upgrade to get him, and we have three five star chickens thanks to our Polarium Play code, which was actually Raid V Play. And you can only do it if you're on Polarium Play. So just I mean, I've said this before, just make sure that you guys are having an, a, a Plarium account on a PC just for times like this where you want to get codes. Even if you never play on PC, it's worth it just having a computer near you that you can just have it on there. And I would say do that because there are some Plarium play only codes, and that's what we did. So we got an extra five-star chicken, which made our life a little bit easier for this video, which is kind of nice. So just in case you were wondering how I got some five-star chickens, that is how I did it. All right, so we're going to upgrade as many of these guys as we possibly can just to get some chickens so that we have what we need. I think we're already good, to be honest. Uh, let's see what we've got. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we should be fine. We'll be good to get them done right now. So we've got Pilgrim. And let's see, who else can we upgrade now real quick? We'll just do you. Why not? One, two, three, four. Sure, why not, right? Why the hell not? And Metal Shaper. One, two, three, four, five. Boom, we've got our man. Now, we already upgraded his masteries. We did purchase them. I think we can upgrade his skill. Ooh, nice. We got three books. Look at that, Max. Let's just do that. Boom, we've got some some uh new new abilities all right so we need one two three we need a couple books we're just going to use these why not i don't care we have another epic hero coming fairly soon but it's it's fine we'll have we have more than enough to max him so now we've got his skills max we are going to ascend this guy to six so now we can equip his little gears and we are going to upgrade his level as much as we can with the potions that we have available so we're just going to use all of them so he is green so we're going to use all of these max that out we're just going to use all of these, see how far we can get them. It's always good to see how high we can get a hero, right? Max it out. What does that get us? Level 55. I'll take it. Oh, we're missing. We're missing some silver. All right, so what we're going to do is minus a couple of these out. What do we need? 700,000? There we go. 700K. We'll do that. Boom. All right, we've got that. Now we're going to get some silver so that we can actually do the rest of this. Oh, look at that. Weekly. Weekly quests are always good. Uh, I believe we actually have some gear we can sell because we were leveling. So let's do sell. Um, here we go. We got a couple things here. I think we have enough, honestly. And we also did some spider. So there should be stuff there. I think the... What is it? The HP gear? That's what we use. Here we go. Boom. You know what? It's so funny how we have all this. I think I can do an auto sell. Yeah, so, no, we can do select all, right? Let's see. Let's see what select all does. Select all. Nope. What is it? You must at least one, one filter. Do we have filters? Oh, we have to use filters. Got it. So you can filter out stuff. We're just going to get enough enough silver to get what we need. We don't really care too much. I'm not trying to get him max because he has a. F we're going to have the video on him eventually. So we're just going to click out some of these gears and see if we can get enough silver to just do what we need to do. There we go. Sell. Sure. And then what we'll do is, just to be an extra safe, we'll go into clan, clan shop, and we'll just buy some gold. <laughs> I'm like, that's why I'm glad this is here. We can just buy a couple. There we go. All right, so we have some gold now. And what do we get here? We actually will get some uh, stuff for promotions, right? There's a, an event going on, I think. Let's check and see, right? Why not? Champion training tournament. Yeah, oh, actually, look at that. We got some, some rewards. Is this is a summon. Yes, it is. Look at that. We got a free summon during this video. I know you guys are going to be excited to see that. Watch, we get like a six-star metal shaper. I would be shocked. Sorry, it's being slow. There we go. We got our little summon. Let's get out of here. Close that crap out. All right, we're going to do it. Right. I need to know. I need to know. It's very interesting. Oh, what do we got? We got something reasonable, right? Really? A renouncer? I mean, hey, whatever, right? I'll take it. Look at that. Someone who's never been awakened. Uh, maybe that means Renouncer is going to be on our list. Look at that. Boom. Mr. Renouncer. Four-star awakening. Hey, like I said, we try to make we try to do videos the way we do it. All right, so we're going to level him up again, upgrade him as much as we can. Actually, it doesn't even matter, does it? We've got these five potions. It's not going to do anything. Screw it. We'll just do it. Who cares? We've got two million now. All right, let's look at his gear now and see what we can do to upgrade this little bad boy. All right, masteries. We can get his last mastery, which I believe... I believe we're doing War, war Master. 
Yeah, because he's not a damage dealer so much. Yeah, we're just going to do War Master. We don't need him to break through defenses so much. All right, so he jumped about 10K. Let's look at his artifacts. I think I have a piece that I was going to use on him specifically. Was it accuracy so he can steal? Let's see. He's got a chance of stealing a buff. That's what we like. Shield. And then removes all debuffs from the ally with the lowest HP. All right. Uh, I mean, does he need it? Honestly, probably not. I feel like that accuracy is not su – actually, I think we did decide we wanted the accuracy. This is going to give us more defense too, which is something we want. This is attack. This is HP, which we don't really care about too much. This one has accuracy. What is this? Accuracy and attack. HP. His skills are based on defense. This has 6% defense. This has 11% defense. This gives us 113. This gives us 7. But they both give us accuracy. So there is something to think about there. HP – HP, if there was a defense one with speed, I would honestly be into it. Or maybe even resistance with, like, defense and speed. But these look all weird. All right, so we have an accuracy 6-star. This is an accuracy 5-star. This one has more defense, so we're going to equip this one because I like this one better. So now we've got all his gear 16. We just need to upgrade these. That accuracy is going to be helpful, so let's see what we get. Oh, that hurts, man. We got it. But whoo! 2.2 million for that. All right, whatever. Let's see what we've got. So 43,000 power. We still have a few levels to go on him. Let's check him out and see how he handles himself. Battle. Campaign. Let's go in and see what he can do. I'm curious. Stage 3. We will take them out. Okay, take you out and grab Bogwalker. I don't know what he's going to do in here. If he's going to die, we'll find out. I'm going to leave him on auto. I want to see how he handles himself. He actually has defense and faction crypts, which I didn't even notice, honestly. I didn't use him for that. Let's see how strong he is. He's fortified. He's not super fast. He's fast enough. But it looks like he can just take his he can just take damage. Look at that. They're like, nah, you don't get anything. And he's got that stupid shield thing going on. <laughs> so he's just gonna be slow as hell. Look at that. They're not even bothering him. He's like, yeah. They're like flies. You know, like, oh, you want to do some damage to me? That's sad. You're not going to. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Metal Shaper rocking out. It's funny because we actually were just, we just finished the uh, Faction Crypt for Lizards uh, three star, and he was on the team at level 50. So, and it was, it's a very hard fight. So I'm hoping by getting him to 60 now. That's going to make him a lot more effective in doing damage and helping us out in that fight. And maybe not even, maybe not dying. You know, that would be also really cool. So we can literally leave him in here by himself, really, and just kind of have him do his own thing. I mean, it'll be slow as piss, but you could do it like this. And then all the EXP you get, basically, will be going to him. You know what I mean? So it's like it's less it's less energy. It's way more time. So I don't know if I would do it. I mean, it's not that it's not terrible. Like if you just put it on auto and go take a shower, it'd be fine. So at least you could you know you can level him up by himself and that way you're not wasting half the EXP you're getting. Save yourself half the energy. But yeah, I mean he's easy easy he can do a campaign farm apparently. He's not oh, I don't want to call him a campaign farmer, but he can kill everything and not die. That's I won't call him a campaign farmer. <laughs> That's not something I'm interested in calling him. I'm just curious what his defense is, actually. We should probably look at his stats, because he was like around 2,000 defense before. I'm curious what he's going to be now that he has all his gear. We can actually use some glyphs on him, too, which will be nice. There we go. Boom. All right, let's go check him out real quick. Actually, let's get rid of some more stuff, because I'm going to need it for glyphing. Sell this. And then we are going to use... All right, it's curing. We are going to use some other stuff too. Um, I'm going to be leveling him up anyway, and we're going to be building. We're going to be building more chickens for the next five star, which will be our lizard. Another. Actually, I don't even know if I want to level her now. We might skip her. Um, I might skip her and go right to abyssal now, because we already beat the faction with lizards. So there's no point in leveling another lizard, right? Like that would be kind of counterproductive, right? To level Z, where is she? I mean, I've got her built and ready to go, but I don't even think we worked on her masteries. Now we haven't. Even. But her skills are maxed, and she has gear that's reasonable. So who knows? Let's. You know, we're gonna vault her for now. Um, it's sad because I really want her, but she's not gonna help me. So we're not. We're not gonna waste time on her. All right. So we've got Mr. Mr. Uh, 
Metal Shaper. Let's look at his stats. All right, so total stats. Got 41,000 HP. He's just bordering 3,000 defense now. Speed is 202, so that's not bad. It's 95% crit rate, 141 crit damage. And he's got almost 300 accuracy. So that's actually looking really reasonably good. Let's see what we can get with these. Uh, I don't want to. I'm not going to waste that on him. He's a, he's a defense champion. I probably don't even need that. So here we go. HP. Boom. Got some HP. This I will, however, I'll waste 100k on this. Really? The 3%? Yeah, bastards. All right. And we got HP, which I definitely don't want to waste 100k on right now. So we'll use that. We're just going to get some basic stuff. Uh, let's see. Where are we at on this? Accuracy. We can actually get some accuracy on him. There you go. Boom. We don't need attack. HP is, you know, whatever. We can get more HP. We want him to stay alive. That's the that's the goal here. That's the main goal. All right, so we have attack. We have some other things there. I think we upgraded most of these. Speed, resistance, defense, we could probably do better on. Enchant. Yeah, we can get a way better defense. Boom, nine. Still whatever, not that great. This has speed. We can probably get more speed on him, right? This is going to be 50K. We're going to go for just a, better than one. There we go. We'll use that. I don't care. We don't want to waste right now because I don't have any freaking... I don't have any silver. Uh, we'll use this. See if we can get a, something over a seven. This is 50. This would be good. We'll just do that. All right. We got two more resistance. Not not great for that, but whatever. This has some stuff we can upgrade. Yeah, we definitely have some pieces here. This we can definitely upgrade. All right. So defense. This is 50K. This is 25K. This is our last one. Boom. What's that give us? 4%. I'll take it. I'll take a 4%. All right. Well, actually, we don't even have speed. Enchant, we'll just use the worst one because it's, or can we use this one? 10K, sure. We'll use all of our, all of it. All right, so we got one speed out of that. So now he should be over 3K defense. Yep, 3,000 defense now we have on him. So perfect. We've got him leveled. So basically, yeah, I mean, this guy's awesome. Let me see what he can do. Let's go in and see. Actually, let's go into, we'll check it out just real quick. Like, why the hell not, right? We'll go into Doom Tower because I think Scarab is actually up here. Let's see if we take, let's take her out. Now he, you'd have to put him in destroy HP, I would assume, right? Now he's got attack in all battles, but this is defense in faction crypts. Okay, it doesn't do it. All right, whatever, let's just see. I'm curious. I wanna see how he handles himself in here. So basically, we would have to put him in destroy HP if we're going to use him for this. I mean, now that we beat the faction crib, it doesn't really matter what gear we put him in, right? So he's got a shield now, so that's fine. The problem is, is he going to is he going to help us enough by the time we get to the point where he's going to help us? Because he's got to put up a shield, right? And how long is the shield going to last? There we go. Now we've got a shield. Oh, and he puts up a shield when he heals, so that's even better, right? Oh, that's defense up. My bad. Now, the question here is how much he helps. Because he's really putting that shield up enough to, like, kind of actually be annoying. He's actually slowing this fight down tremendously. Interesting enough. And his shield's still kind of whatever, so. And we don't care if anyone dies, just so we're clear. There we go. No more shield. So sad. You are losing everything. So, yeah, we would have to put him into some destroy HP if we were going to use him for this. But boom. Done. What did he do there? 23k? That's no. He does no damage, obviously. He's not really there for damage. But, hey, he worked. So that's all that matters, right? Ooh, let's get out of here. So, yeah, I mean, this guy's looking pretty good. I mean, he helped us get through Faction Wars. And we used the dumbest team ever, which you're going to see either this week or next week, depending on whether or not I can beat it. Again, uh, now that we have him level 60 or level 55, we're going to basically run him to 60. As soon as I end this video, I'm going to just put him on auto and get him to 60. And then we are good to go. I think we'll just save up some silver and get his last piece of gear max. So we only have one. And then you'll be seeing a... 
champion spotlight video on this bad boy very soon. I know I'm very excited. I was I didn't expect to have Metal Shaper to 60 literally and within a day of saying that I want to get him. But I mean, actually, it's not been a day. It's been like a week and a half, two weeks. So we've been talking about it. But I actually considered it today. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wait, I have a bunch of chickens in that code. Nice. So we ended up getting a bunch of stuff. And we got some uh, – that code also gives you a lot of auto battles, see? We got all these auto battles for the promo code reward. So definitely log into Pro to uh, Polarium Play on a PC and get your account on there and get that code. Once again, it was RAID, R-A-I-D-V, Play. And I think the V was capital. I don't know if that matters, but it's RAID, V, Play. I did it with a capital R, V, and P. So capital R-A-I-D, capital V, capital P-L-A-Y, and it worked. All right? So there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like seeing Mr. Metal Shaper in action. I know you guys are excited for rares. So I'm trying to get as many rares out as possible in the next few, like in the next couple months because I want to see more more rare stuff just like you guys. I want to see more dungeons beat with these rares, and I want to see more faction crypts knocked out of the park with rares. It's going to be more fun. All right? So, yeah, this is uh, Metal Shaper. If you guys have any comments things you want to say, leave a comment below. It's always good to hear from you guys. And as always, like, share, subscribe. You help the channel grow. We also do a live show every week. And you can join our membership program. It's $1.99 a month. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's there. It gets you some, uh, you know, you get to see my videos before everyone else. And there's one video every week that will be commercial free that you get to watch. And you get to see behind the scenes stuff, more, more extra stuff. All right. So yeah, that's it. This is a uh, building metal shaper to level six to not level six to six star with his cute little skulls. Look at him, him and bog Walker are going to be such friends. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is metal shaper. This is mobile gamer nerd and you guys take care.